I know that um, we've had Sounds many like conversations it. about Thomas Edward Patrick Brady, who, in my opinion, <laughs> um, is the best player in the history of the National Football League. Just, I, I, I just like what he did. I like what he did yesterday. I have there that he's got 32 playoff dubs, which is just ridiculous. His playoff record now is 32 and 11. I'm going to put that in perspective for you. That is two and a half seasons of extra for more than two and a half seasons of extra football. So 16 game season. Uh, if he had three of them, that'd be 48. He's already got 43 playoff games. <laughs> yeah. And uh, not only has he played in 43 of them, he's won 32. And I think it's clear. Look, most of those mm. uh, victories are with the New England Patriots, and we all look at the system that the Patriots have. I was about to say. Belichick, and all the things okay, that go good. with it. Right. Okay, good. Thank you but for what I'm saying is, that part. What I'm saying is, sure, we took, you had a 7-9 team last year, and they boosted it. They brought in Gronk because of Brady. Um, Leonard Fournette was able to go there because of Brady. Antonio Brown is there because of Brady. They drafted yeah. uh, their first round pick was a tackle because they had Tom Brady. And they mm -hmm. go from not winning a playoff game since 2002. To talk about two. the Browns. <laughs> yeah. Talk about the Browns. But yeah. Tampa Bay Buccaneers have not won a playoff game, had not won a playoff game in 19 years before Tom Brady took him to a wild card, wild card victory over uh, the Washington football team. And then what we saw going to your hometown and the Superdome and getting the Buccaneers to the NFC championship game. I just make the case that his presence is a Tom Brady's beyond numbers. It's just got some dudes just walk in and things get better. Tom Brady walks into your franchise and things are just going to get better. So I'm just happy uh, to see yeah. him back and I love the way you put it back where he belongs. He does. He belongs in the NFC championship game. He belongs in championship games. He's a championship player. 14 conference championship games in 21 seasons. 14 conference championship games in 21 seasons and you forgot the best number about the 32 uh, wins as a starting quarterback in the playoffs. Number two on the list is Joe Montana at 16. Right, double the so I ain't a math major, but he has double the playoff wins that the next closest guy on the list has, and that's only Joe Montana. Okay? And I hate, hate, detest, and anybody with a lick of sense in 2021 should as well. I hate wins as an individual quarterback stat. No, it's just as much as, as a pitching stat. Like, wins are not a quarterback stat. However, there's an exception to everything. I'm more than happy to make that exception for Tom Brady because you're absolutely right. It's there, there's a there's a constant here. The variable, the change in this experiment was Tampa, new system, new personnel, look great on paper, new coach, new environment. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Tom Brady's right back where he always is, at least in the conference championship game, if not the Super Bowl. Just like clockwork, okay. Um, you could have set your watch you, to it for crying out loud that he that he'd be here. You have, do you have them coming out? I mean, I, I know we're talking about it. It's, it's a little early. You don't have to make a pick now. It's Monday. No, I think you know where Sunday. I stand on that. I think you know where I stand on that. So you have you have yeah. Green Bay. You have Green Bay winning yes. just because I, I, they're the number because one seed. Green Bay, you know, because Green Bay, because Aaron Rodgers, because they're you know they're a complete team. Um, not that the Bucks aren't. I just you know I, I, I like I like the Packers. I think the Packers. Uh, they take it. I mean, listen, would I be shocked if Tom Brady got back to the Super Bowl? No. Would I be shocked if Tom Brady capped? I mean, he's not going to walk away. At least we don't think he will. But would I be shocked if Tom Brady added to his resume quarterbacking a team to a Super Bowl in his, in his home stadium? Of course I wouldn't be. I'm picking the Packers. Gonna, but I, How about this? Can I have it both ways? I am picking yes. the Packers, but I am not betting against Brady. How's that? How's yes, that for you can have it both back? ways. How's that for hedging my bets? Hey, but no. This is what we do. Of course you can have a yeah. both ways. Because I mean, because it's, it's Brady, man, you know? I'm going to, I'm going to uh, two hand uh, lightly uh, push back against your statement that you don't like quarterback wins. Even though you said you're making an exception for Tom Brady, you don't like quarterback wins. But I'm going to tell you that they matter because a, a lot of times 
players get lost. Players get lost uh, when, when you judge them by quarterback wins. They get lost when you don't judge them by quarterback wins. It, it, it's like it's sometimes it's like a no win situation for Tom Brady. Those 32 wins allow him allow people to kind of look over him and just say, yeah, OK, he played for the Patriots. What was their home record again? How many times did they win the, uh, the AFC East? He's got Bill Belichick. If he's right. still re- that, that's not that's that's not it. you talk you're talking to a an imaginary person right now because uh, that's straw, I'm sorry Mike. so straw man straw, straw, straw man, man. Th- th- there is nobody thank you I was, I was this phrase escaped me some there is nobody now worth talking to or or even addressing talk about we talked about casual MLK fans and casual right. sports fans who in his or her right mind nowadays is still looking at Tom Brady as a product of the system. That's, is that still a thing? I thought, I thought we stopped Probably. doing that like in, I don't know, 04. You know, I mean, I would like, hope so. People still, but people yeah. still reducing it's, Tom Brady to, oh, you, you have Bill Belichick, you have that defense. They might. But all the reason I don't like the win stat is, if I'm not mistaken, I, I, maybe I missed it, but I don't think Tom Brady picked off Drew Brees at all yesterday. I don't think, I don't think he did that. He did not. I, I guess, no. so, you know, and that goes back to throughout the entire, he didn't pick off Russell Wilson at the one yard line. I mean, there is, there are so many contributions. It's, it, among all team sports, you shouldn't have an individual, you know, having a, a wins and losses record. We do it in basketball now. I've seen Tim Duncan's uh, one loss. And, and you make exceptions for certain. And this is the only reason why I'm making an exception. Generally speaking, it's, it's, it, I'm, I'm anti wins as an individual stat. But for certain players, and this is what we actually kind of, kind of agree here, Michael, for certain yeah. players, it feels like the right thing to do because you know that they're, they're, People, everybody, like everybody around him is touching the hem of his garment. You know, everybody around him is being elevated. Like you even had Bruce Arians. Man, I don't know if you saw this. So we've come a long way this season from Bruce Arians yeah. calling out Tom Brady to yeah. Bruce Arians saying to Peter King, "Oh, they didn't let him coach in New England. I let him coach here." I was like, "Wait, hold on, player. Like, you know what? Uh, <laughs> mind, just uh, mind your, uh, mind your uh, business, bro." Mind your business, okay? Like, you know what? You and Brady, y'all go ahead and enjoy yourselves. Y'all getting along. Y'all are warm and fuzzy. Y'all feeling each other now. You know, go go on to the, day, the days when we're criticizing oh, Bruce Arians for not letting Brady part of it. have his system. This is part of it. It's like, because can't, I didn't... can't wait. But they got six rings in New England. Whatever they oh, were or were not doing as related to Tom Brady, that ain't nothing it's for not Bruce logical. Arians to be speaking on, as far as I'm concerned. I'm not saying, I'm not saying it's logical. Because, you know... Uh, I don't know if you saw Rob Gronkowski. Rob Gronkowski was asked about the difference between uh, Belichick and Arians and Tampa and New England. He said, freedom. I, I get to have freedom here. So there is a, <laughs> there is a, like a little anti-New England way of doing business coming from these guys. But the reason I want to point out Tom Brady and his wins right now, take away his 30, take, take away 32, give him, uh, give him two wins. Give him two playoff wins for his career. They're significant because he's changed the way he plays. Tom Brady did not play like this uh, in New England. He hadn't played like this in, in New England for 10 years. He hadn't played like well, this not in just 10 that. years. He's, not just that, he's the constant. The players, the players and coaches, other than Belichick, have come and gone. Different receivers, different running backs, different linemen, different defense, good defense, bad defense, indifferent defense. Doesn't matter, Brady's gonna end up in the playoffs and in the conference championship game. I mean, even this year, I mean, think about some of the, 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 the freezing cold takes. Shout out to that account um, from early in the year. Like, oh, this ain't the AFC East no more. You, you, yeah. you, you can't go through the Jets and the, and the, and the Dolphins no more. There's a different, the NFC South, a different ball game. It's like, he's in the conference championship. No, no, it, it, and it really isn't. <laughs> the NFC you know. South, it, it really yeah. isn't. But, you know, it, we, can't, we can't pretend like, they didn't have a one and five record against good teams. They did. And I thought they would struggle against the Saints because uh, I saw those two games and they weren't close in either game. So give them credit for, for figuring out how to beat the Saints in New Orleans. And also, I, we should probably just look at it a little more thoroughly. They're a different team, not because of some mojo, some anecdotal good feeling. They're a good team because of what they're able to do. Rob Gronkowski is back in shape and he's blocking at a high level. Antonio Brown is back in shape. He's a problem. Their running game is good. Their offensive line is good. 
Brady is more willing to uh, just take whatever is available to him that day. So if he's got, if he can throw for 350, 360, he'll do that. If he needs to lean on the running game and the defense, he does that as well. So they're different. They're a problem. I think they're going to the Super Bowl, Mike. I think they're going to be the first team to play, to be the home team playing in its home stadium for the Super Bowl. Yeah, and, and, and back to the, the best player ever. I mean, yeah. I mean it's, it's, not a, it's, it's not the wrong answer. It's not the wrong answer. No. I don't know if it's the right one. I, I, think it's, I think it's just so hard. What I will say unequivocally, uh, with apologies to Jerry Rice, who has records that will never be touched, um, Brady has had the best career in NFL history. I, th- I, I don't think that's a, that's a question at this point. We talk about numbers. Yeah, I mean, listen, is he the best player? You can make an argument for him. You can make an argument, and I, and I, won't, I won't shout you down. I just don't think it's, it's that simple because he plays quarterback. It's, it's, it, to me, it's an extension of the MVP conversation. Like, yes, it's the most important position when you have a good one. When you don't have a good one, you, you got to play around him. So it's the most important position when he's, when he's good. And the MVP has become a, a, the best quarterback award because we can't see past that position and appreciate the brilliance of other players who may be better, but they just don't play the same position. Like, for example, you know, Aaron Donald may be better at, hear me out, Aaron Donald may be better at defensive tackle than Aaron Rodgers is at quarterback. He might be, but we don't know how to compare those two things because their jobs are so different, different. right? And so MVP, because we can count the passing yards, we can count the touchdowns, it's easy to calculate, it's easy to watch it, even a, wait for it, casual fan can appreciate a good quarterback play, okay? It's, it, it's easy to say, okay, the quarterback is the greatest player of all time. Okay, I, I mean, maybe. Well, well let me you ask know, you this. It, we, it, it's, it's, it's enough to be the best quarterback of all time. It's enough to be the GOAT quarterback. But when you start talking about Lawrence Taylor and Jim Brown, again, yeah. please watch One Night in Miami. Please watch it. Tonight, I, I beg of you. Uh, Jim Brown and Lawrence Taylor and Jerry Rice and Deacon Jones. Uh, you know, you start talking about those players, and it's just like, well, was Brady better at his job than they were at theirs? I don't Jim know. Jim Brown retired at 29. Didn't, Jerry, didn't Jim Brown retire when he was 29 years old? To act, yes. In the movies. You to know, act. Big Jim. Yes. Act. Uh, no, he's 29. That, that, that's part of my argument for Brady, man. This guy's doing it at 43, still the playing at an elite level. Longe- but not just longevity of just showing up so you can, uh, you know, punch the clock. Longevity yeah. and excellence. Longevity in, in spanning multiple no, eras of football. That's fair. And still being great. But you said he had the best career. I'm going to go back. Who's had the best career in the NBA, in NBA history? I'm thinking if you said he got the best career, aren't you the best player? Who's had the best NBA I think, career I think you can think of? So so Russell comes to mind. Russell comes to mind. I, I think I think when it's all said and done, and this is again me trying to have it both ways, I acknowledge that. We can do I that. think when it's we all said and done. Kind of we can bend the rules here. I think when it's all hey. said and done, hey. because so of watching. the way because what, what largely we're because, watching. Go into this portal. <laughs> we're gonna watch that next week. Again, largely, Dr. largely, beca- largely because uh, of the way he's approached it. I think LeBron will go down with the best career. When you talk about his stats, He's probably the best player. You talk about the number of championships. Well, there's a, it's a different conversation to me. I still think Jordan's the best player, and I don't think I'm coming off of that. If you think it's LeBron, that's perfectly fine. I'll allow it. My point is, I, I you get for best career. I would, I would go either Russell. I think LeBron may have it. I mean, you know, Duncan doesn't get enough mention uh, when you talk about what he did and, and how long he did it. Um, so I, I think it's a, it's a subtle distinction that I think is legitimate. Like, and I'm not trying to say Brady is not the best player. He might be. I just don't think it's, it's uh, hands down. Hey, thanks for watching, brother, from another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.